Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap currency, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code Zerk for 5% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerk at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we finally have content in the game this week. We have Rising Stars to go over which there's just one really really interesting rising star to go over as well uh, in the mix of them and then we also have some other news. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Mario for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification on, and comment down below Noti Gang. And guys, last night we had the Tyler Hero over under half an assist special, which he obviously got over the half assist. He had a couple of assists in that game and my dad actually hit on his special line, so if you guys follow me over on Twitter, I show you guys his picks i'll quote tweet him so you guys can see his picks whatever uh, make sure you guys follow him as well over there on twitter but yes his special hit so if you copied him you won on your special so a lot of you guys won on your special for 250 500 100 so congratulations to all of you guys and today we do have more nba playoff games so if you guys want to use code zerk to match your first deposit up to 100 dollars on underdog fantasy and follow me over on twitter for my picks later today hopefully my dad can keep his streak going and we'll see if i can start one myself all right guys so as i said we do have new rising stars today and also a little bit of news about golden tickets uh, obviously we were all kind of hoping they would be this week uh the content schedule got released on monday and it does always say that content uh is scheduled to release you know maybe there could be something that pops up whatever well golden tickets are not coming this week unfortunately so we were kind of hoping to be on thursday it shouldn't be that hard right to push out two golden tickets on thursday to pair with the draft promo but apparently it is unfortunately so but next week confirmed they are targeting to release golden tickets next week so i would expect them next week uh, I'm, I'm guessing still we don't even know what day but i am guessing still that it's going to be on thursday right now that's kind of why i think maybe we didn't get gts this week because they have all the draft stuff going on this thursday as well tomorrow they you know when the nfl draft actually goes live there are going to be draft rookies being pushed out into the game so i am very excited for tomorrow afternoon tomorrow morning though i don't think there's going to be anything in the game because we don't have anything there's no ltds or anything like that unless the a drops like draft ltds tomorrow morning which we got 97 asante samuel right there but the uh rising stars for today real interesting really interesting and look at that there he is 90 overall lem barney i know okay why is a 76 year old man getting a rising star card to be honest the reason why he got the rising star card is kind of cool however he still shouldn't be in this promo right like why is he in the rising star promo this literally should be just current day players there are so many players that still need to get upgrades that are current day and instead we're giving it to people who have team diamonds already that could have potentially been you know in the power up expansion promo if that ends up dropping could have been maybe like an ultimate legend if they want to throw him in there or a different promo not rising star but lem barney uh the reason why he actually got this card guys is because he actually was the very first ever defensive rookie of the year so that's why they give him the rising star still don't think he should have been i mean give him a flashback i guess a flashback card i think that would kind of make more sense than a rising star like yeah the reason giving a defensive rookie of the year rising star sounds good not a defensive rookie of the year from the 1960s so lem barney he's six feet tall he's got 97 speed 97 excel uh 98 agility 96 jumping 96 player act 98 man he's got 95 zone coverage 91 press so the card is really not bad at all but the only thing kind of bad about it i will say is the zone being only a 95 because powered up with dv in the zone you're not going to get to 99 zone coverage so that's very unfortunate there he does have 78 blocks though 80 tackling but apparently he never learned how to hit stick because he has a 52 hit power so that's lem barney for lions theme teams i don't know if he was even on any other teams there but uh lions theme teams there you go you got lem barney available for you still don't completely understand why he ended up being in the rising star promo but yeah he's here and so let's go ahead and do one more rising star pack because obviously there's a lot of training points right i mean you can lose training points very very easily here uh but actually if we keep getting ones that are new i'll show you guys them so we have jonathan greenard he's got 91 speed 95 excel 94 strength 97 block shed 94 power move and 98 finesse move it's 
pretty good card. This, this right here is a pretty good card for the uh, Texans theme team. I know obviously you have J.J. Watt, uh, you have Jadavion Clowney, but I feel like J.J. Watt, as far as I can remember, probably doesn't have very high speed, probably not even 90 speed on his top card. I, I can't recall what his top card is, honestly, off the top of my head. But I'm guessing Greenard here is probably better. I mean, great block shed, power move, good speed. Uh, he's got a hit power of a 97. I like the card. So if you're rocking a Texans theme team especially, that's a really good card. That is definitely a really, really good card for you guys right there. We'll try this again, but if we get a 96 overall, then that's going to be it. And we will hit the auction house to show you guys the cards here, which we get a Asante. Okay, 97 overall, Asante Samuel right there. Give me another, actually, no, I will take another Lem Barney. Not because I want to show you the stats, but I'll take the training points. I'll take him. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, EA, thank you, right? They're listening. So now that you gave me the Lem Barney to make up for, you know, the 96, whatever, uh, and I made training, give me a 97 that I haven't gone over just yet. Okay, that's not it. We're going to go check the auction house. All right, so let's go ahead here and take a look at these new Rising Star cards. Obviously, I think one that people are going to be pretty excited about uh, at least Dolphins fans, is Tua. If you guys did not already know last night, if you don't follow me over on Twitter, maybe you do not see that EA actually tweeted out the Tua card last night. But we also have Jake Curhan, which is, this is actually his first card in the game, like the entire year. He doesn't have a silver, gold, anything like that. But he's got 96 strength, 94 pass block, 98 run block, with 96 impact, and 94 lead block. So a decent right tackle right there. Obviously, I feel like you're probably picking him up if you run like a Seahawks theme team, I suppose. Uh, and then we have Tua and Grant Delpit as the final two to go over. Tua, it's actually kind of a good card. And he does have generic three release, guys. So he's got 94 speed, 97 throw power, 97 short, 93 medium, 95 deep. So great speed, 94 acceleration as well. Good throw accuracies, 97 throw power. A little bit questionable, right, for Tua. I mean... I, my personal opinion my personal opinion right there and then on the run he's got 93 carry 94 juke 93 change of direction 91 break tackle so to his card definitely looks pretty good and as i said generic three release so he's got the second quickest release in the game i think that's actually a pretty good card so definitely no complaints there honestly a pretty good card grant delpit he's got 96 speed 97 excel 91 man 97 zone 97 hit power so powered up with deviating the zone 99 zone, 99 speed, 98 hit power, 98 excel, 92 man coverage. Uh, I mean, the card's pretty good. He's got 92 block shit as well. So Grant Delpit, definitely a solid looking card. Six foot three, had a golden ticket card last year, of course. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I guess uh, in four weeks from now, we will see what 1970s player that they're going to throw into Rising Stars instead of going with a player who is actually a rookie uh, and that could have potentially used the upgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.